All right, I'm at the showcase place and two complaints. Uh, this jacket, don't know who it belonged to, was in front of my case. So I moved it squarely in front of someone else's case. Maybe, hopefully they'll get the hint. Um, I'm gonna leave it there. I believe there's, there should be stuff missing. Big empty spot there. Marie's like browsing around. I think she might have noticed one or two things that were gone. I'm going to shortly start removing some non-selling things here. Like this, I can put this on eBay. You know, if it's not selling here, what's the point? It's so little, easy to ship, a few dollars. I have a lot of stuff to work on anyway, so it doesn't really matter when I pull it out. You know, I got mountains of stuff just waiting. I even bought some stuff today. Didn't even mean to buy anything. I was just cruising around my neighborhood and we're like, oh, an estate sale sign. I bought two things. Well, no, I'm um, bought some things. I'll show another video. Uh, you'll probably see that video way before you see this video. This video I have to edit. I was hoping this would be gone sooner. I don't think I sold any of these. One, two, three, four, five. You know, I can't remember if I had six. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I probably didn't sell any of those. Didn't sell the hula girl. I got a little Hawaiiana section going on here. I didn't sell that. I could put that on eBay. I can ask more, but... Uh, that might wind up in the store. And this is nonsense. So is this trolls. I should just, for 20 bucks, I can take that throw it on eBay. All right. Anyway, let's see if I fill it up, how bad it is, um, and what I put in. All right, here's what I'm putting in. Just all interesting things, either, uh, but then some goofy things, like here. I'm going to put in these two jar of stones. I call it jar of stones for people who like stone-related and being stoned or whatever. Um, Ten bucks each. Why not? here I got this little teapot ten bucks then I got this one twelve just because it's decorative pretty maybe somebody will like it. and this one comes with the reason I made it twelve is because it comes with a cup they're not super valuable items um, I could ask more for this but I think it's only worth 20 or so and it's it's just an enamel tray it's, ja it's nice it's Japanese twelve bucks if anybody wants it. this is my fun item it's it's the the gun knuckles belt buckle. It's not very old. I think it's it's this century. <laughs> uh, we're already two nineteen. Um, I just put twelve dollars on it. I, I, it's fun. This I I figured out. It's a um, it's an animal hide hide hide. I don't know why I had trouble with the word hide. It's an animal hide shield, and I put hundred fifty on it. And I believe the tribe is Maasai. And uh, here, yeah, this is painted. This is animal hide. And in the back, it's just very rigid and stiff animal hide. Um, there's the handle. And this should be, it's, it's made to hang on the wall as art. And this should be child size. Um, this is just like a southwestern Navajo vase. It is signed on the bottom. I couldn't make it out, so I didn't even try. Twenty bucks—that's that's a lot for that. Um, this is pretty cool. Uh, I consider this folk art. You can't—you just got to make up a price for this stuff sometimes. Uh, normal range price for something like this would be thirty-five to seventy-five. I couldn't figure out uh, who, where, or why it was made, or what, or when either. Um, or how? No, how I know. Um, so I just put 75. You know, that's that's what I did with normal price on it. Maybe 125 if I knew what it was. Maybe more. Don't know. And then this is the most expensive thing I'm putting in today. And this is a Billy Denison Navajo vase 200. I've seen these online priced really high, but I think 200 is around where it should sell or could sell, or maybe a little bit less, in my showcase. And I show this at a sale I got 
I think I paid like five bucks for this. It was an absolute steal. And I don't know if you can read the name. The light's not very bright in here or contrasty. But it says Denison, Billy, Navajo, and is dated 97. Probably the nicest thing I'm, I'm going to have in the vase. And everybody will like it. We'll just see if they buy it. All right. I'm gonna, I got two cases. I, can, I have plenty of room. So let, let me just get started. We'll see how it turns out. All right. I moved this case around a, a little bit. Um, I just shifted stuff on this top shelf just so you could see things a little bit better. You know? So I really didn't do much there. And the light's out on this one. Um, I didn't do anything on this shelf at all. I should take out that game and watch. I don't know. Yeah. Did you ever talk to them at the front? Okay. All right. Pay the rent and see if we made any money. Needing and this right now. Um, obviously, on this shelf, I put two jar of stones. Otherwise, I didn't really do much. Um, on this shelf, I don't think I did much. And I added the, the closet and teapots. Pretty much the same. And then, since I had this African bronze face mask right there, I decided to put the painted hide shield next to it. I don't know. Kind of keeping things that are similar together, I guess. That's my strategy. You don't know. All right. <clears throat> On this shelf... I just uh, moved this frame from here to there. And then I wanted this to really be seen. Because it's a really nice piece. It's very nice. I would keep it if I was collecting that kind of stuff. And then I put that Indian, so I put it next to it. Um, I just shifted stuff over. Tried to show a little bit more. None sold. And then on this shelf, I believe I just moved things around a little bit. Um, on this shelf, oh, and I took, just in case you're watching this, I took the wrestler belt. It's over there. That's the one thing I took out of the case. But that's because someone asked me for it. I had 10 on it, which is what I thought. I said I would sell it to them for 5, Phoenix, NYC. And then I just moved things around, and I leaned these back up again. And I put the fish on the bottom. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to take some pictures, and then I'm pretty much out of here.
Oh, I gotta do my seatbelt. <laughs> Let's record it. All right. Um, we just got out of the Antique Unique Gifts Pop Culture Showcase place. And again, Marie found something to buy. I did not get a chance to look around. We're on a very tight schedule today. Um, this is sterling silver. Yeah, it's, a, oh, you had it inside out. So it does say something. T9, oh, it's Taxco, right? I don't think so. I think it's, it said something, something, N apostrophe, N-T apostrophe S. Hmm. Well, it says Mexico. No, see, the first letter's gone. Usually when there's a T, that stands for tax go. Yeah, but it looks like a T apostrophe S. Yeah, okay, you're right. Then Mexico. Yeah, it could be H or N or whatever. And the M is gone, because there's no such place as Mexico. Um, but as you can see, I'll, sh I'll film this again as part of the pickup for the day, because we actually went to a yard sale. Because this video probably won't be on until, I don't know, a couple of days. These videos take me longer to edit. <clears throat> But it's nice. It's choker length, and it, it's weighty sterling silver. So um, I did get a check. We hadn't been by in a couple of weeks, so we were due for some checks. Put it all in one envelope. Four sixteen. It to was the owl that you sold. The wood owl. That's all. No, you sold like five things. You five sold that things. glass uh, bird that I remember missing. Okay, I got a check for one hundred thirteen. Careful, so. a little. Tags are in there. Not your receipt for paying for the. Yeah. Let me get my my info. <laughs> 113. Uh, and then I got a receipt for paying the rent. Let me see. Uh, Whoa. Uh, there it is. Look, here comes another one. And what are we doing? Almost 50 miles an hour. Let's see. Where are the cops? Not around here. Yeah. All right. Before I show this, let's cover up my personal. Oh, I dropped all the tags on the floor. It's just what I told you to be uh, So I sold a Fenton Glass Bear for 10 bucks. Yeah, that little bear. The Robert Wood Owl, which I don't even remember now. It was a big owl. A oh, owl. that's right. Yeah, it's folk art. I remember, and it leaned back. Takashi Stan, I knew that. I got a 18. Because mm, they offered 18, and I think I paid two or three. Oh, I, we sold the McCoy Green Tassel Vase. Mm -hmm. um, and the Murano... Kiwi Penguin, 35. Are they still? Oh, there's a guy on a motorcycle. No, it's a motorcycle. And then the Tiffin Glass Poppy Vase. All right. That one I can't remember. Yeah. I guess. I don't remember either, but I'll, I'll find it. And that's like, this says 423. So what's today now? It's like five something, right? It's only like five, seven. Or... So that's the 430. 4.30.19. Okay. So it's the end of the month. And there wasn't anything uh, before that earlier? Or... I don't think. Ah, whatever. Who cares? That uh, kid looked like he was new. He was new. Because he was having a problem making me a receipt. Well, you know what? I know I didn't make any sales that I was were noticeable uh, for a couple of weeks. Uh, I had one thing where I don't know why somebody would think it would be okay to put uh, a jacket in front of my showcase. Especially since the bulb went out. Uh, but I asked them and they moved it and hopefully because I pointed it out and asked them like somebody won't just move it back as soon as I leave and I don't have to come and find a jacket or other clothing articles. Cover my case. Yeah, that's not cool. Um, so I don't know, it's like, it's not a, a bad little amount of sales. You know? And I'm just filling it up again. Um, but is, is it mostly like new stuff I put in there? So no, I, no. that bird and that bear have been in there for a long time. Maybe somebody just noticed it because I cleared some stuff out. Um, but, all right, anyway, I'm going home for now. But then I, I'm, I'm going to be doing, like, uh, AJ store stuff later. So, you know, wow, we're passing everybody now. <laughs> I'm only doing 50. I know. What's, it, what's going That's what I'm saying. What's going on? Well, actually, I'm doing 54. 54. That's the speed limit, though, right? No, the speed limit here, according to my GPS, is 50. Okay, 54. That's within the... Normal, you know. I try and stay within five. We're very safe drivers. We will not well, be the cause of an accident. I'm getting worse as I get older. I'm getting more old. Like no, you know what it is. Everybody else is getting worse. It's just people make me nervous. Yeah. And I don't want to, you know, if I'm if I get into an accident and I'm driving fast, I could die. If yeah. I'm in an, if I get in an accident and I'm not driving that fast, maybe I can live. Yes, possible. You know, so I yeah. was. No, I see too many cars. 
there's too many cars now when you see an accident it's not just like a fender bender no the car is friggin upside down like flipped over yep or totally and that's crushed because people are going too fast yeah so, our cars won't crush up like that uh, you know we'll probably crush whatever. cars whatever I, I just do not look forward yeah, to yeah we could probably the way our cars are loaded sometimes we could probably knock a bus off the road you know like a bus um but all right, so we're heading out. Uh, that was the showcase. I was okay, you know. Like it seemed quiet there today too, but like a uh, Thursday, right? There was a few people. Okay, a people yeah, I did see some people. I talked to some. They were they were nice, pleasant. All right, anyway, um, bye.